so long, you oh. don't even know. What happens is, I'll, um, I'll kill the body, uh. drink the blood, and then I'll give it to him. He does all kinds of weird shit with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> New videos every single day. Hit the bell, hit the sub. Let's go. Welcome. What up, Epic Lloyd? Behind the scenes. <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> The, the beat, the beat they did for this one was nasty. Hold up, we have a sponsor on this video. Oh! Let's go. It's the most ambitious RPG role-playing game of 2019. It's just been released and it's gonna change everything about mobile games. Especially for me, because I haven't played a mobile game since Tetris on since the TI-82. forever. <laughs> I'm a supercomputer, you yeah, like a TI-82. Except, it's totally free. Raid has amazing storylines, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss All the fights, games. PvP battles. What is PvP? I think it means person versus person. Also, guys, this is a good time while they're PvP promoting this. Sub to ERB if you haven't already. Oh! Hit the bell, subscribe to their channel, comment down below. Have the These guys have been making been six months. battles for, you know, years. <laughs> So they've been killing it. Personally customize your champions, choosing their artifacts and creating the Raid Shadow of Legends. Oh! What I like about the game is you can find <laughs> something for yourself. Nice Peter, so silly. If you like characters, there's characters. If you like collectibles, there's collectibles. There's artifacts. Some people like the storylines and crap. What'd you guys think of the battle too? Against other live players because I like. I thought this battle. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. But check out my other video. I have my other video of the actual battle reaction. It was it was funky. It was definitely funky. So you get a new daily login reward for the first nine days in the game. So don't wait too long. Go to the link in the description and you're gonna get a bunch of free stuff. Hundred thousand silver pieces. One energy refill. 50 gems! Look 50 at the doggo. And a new player character, the Executioner, who is a badass. You can find us, you can find us in the game under the nickname ERB Posse. Two questions. Did you say nickname? I didn't say nickname. <laughs> is it the Posse? The nickname. Posse. Well, thanks, Raid, for sponsoring this video, for being our mobile game friends. Thank you. Yes. Hi. You want some dog toy sponsors? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the BTS for episode A 7, Dracula versus Vlad the Impaler. This has been suggested since the beginning of Epic Rap Battles. It's been right there. It's an obvious one. It's one of those ones that we were like, yeah, we'll probably do it someday. It's a classic. A lot of people think, including myself, before I did the research, that Dracula is based off of the real life events of Vlad the Impaler. After fairly intense research, we came to the conclusion that that is in fact not true. Okay. Dracula means son of the dragon, but over time, that got translated to mean devil or demon. Dracul was Vlad Dracula's father. Dracula means son of Dracul. So that's where the name Dracula Ooh, they're breaking it from. down. I like Vlad this. Vlad Dracula, son of Vlad Dracul. Today's officially the first day of writing on Dracula versus Vlad the Impaler. When you say first day, he's leaving out all the days, watching movies, reading books, getting the scripts from the comedians. Right, all that stuff. Say, this is the first day with Zach. <laughs> The writing process for this one was like simultaneously challenging and easy. I don't know how to explain that. Huh. We work with a couple of different writers. We work with our homies at the Patreon Discord who submit jokes and ideas. There was a lot of stuff. There's a lot of material on these two. There's one thing I'll take responsibility for is the absence of a Castlevania joke. It's my fault. You can blame me. Hi, everybody. Uh, sort of a sad moment. Oh. I want to pay respect to a couple of jokes that we lost tonight we remember them well so sad maniac when belts like wrestlemania you 8-bit my whole style and get whipped like castlevania i remember that joke really really well Gosh, <laughs> he was birthed into the world and we all loved him so much and geez he just got snatched right away from us tonight everybody plays you even cuckoo sandler do you tell old man christopher lee he counts better when he's dooku <laughs> Just so sad. So silly. He was right there. I like the 8 bit Castlevania one though. Snatched away. It's like it's not even real. Because at the end of the, the actual battle, they showed 8 bit Castlevania. Speaking of bite, your rhymes are bloody awful. I've seen better writing in a Twilight novel. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also the person who was like, all right, well, we got to do something with the Castlevania at the end. So, yep. Hobby, can you make the logo turn into a Castlevania game? 
So I, I tried to make up for it. I really enjoyed the lyrics. That was a nice detail. This one, I submitted some lyrics. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed them. They're the ones that are not in the video. <laughs> Pete, what is happening right now? We are going to have to shoot this for the Game Boy. Wait, what? I thought that was going to be a lot funnier. <laughs> <laughs> we did a little filming in 360 because we have a couple of things cooking that we think you might like. Our goal is to have one of our episodes be set in a kind of 360 degree sphere where one of the characters is on one side and one of the other characters is on the other side. We thought that would be it was going to be a simple process to just film ourselves in 3D at the end of a normal shooting day. It wasn't so. I actually had to get into makeup and teeth glue twice. Pete got back into character so that we can do the VR shoot. So hopefully we'll have a VR battle by the end of the day. Because the first night when we filmed the 3D stuff, the camera didn't work at all. And we lost all the footage. Oh, that sucks. 30 minutes to get profiles, and three quarters, and three quarter reactions, and profile mediums, and also shoot the whole battle. Is that doable? Yes. Uh, I think that might be less about <laughs> the camera and more about just us. It's new territory. So we hope that we can start bringing you some different type of content, which I'm pretty stoked about. You leached my name, you pale son of a bitch. And your weak ass gets beat by the sun at the beach. I try to listen to new music as it comes out so that we're not making the same sounding track all the time. It's been a very upbeat season so far, musically anyway. Like the Freud uh, versus Teresa beat was very doom chicka 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 doom. Right. But this one wanted the music to represent the characters. We needed a beat that was dark, sinister, and spooky. So we reached out to a producer we worked with for the first time this season, Beneath 040. I hope I'm saying that right. There's like a new thing going on with, with the kids and their names, uh, and I never know how to say them. Extent, XXX, 10. Nice Peter the Old Man. I sound like exactly what I am, a dad, and that's fine. <laughs> Same guy who did the Guy Fox beat, which we really love that beat. We always try to go back to folks. That was a solid beat, too. Usually, if somebody makes a really good beat, they make multiple. Oh, God, if you remember a fresh king or whatever. had this beat that was real dark, and it had a, like, a pulsing sadness to it. And we thought it was perfect. Beneath underscore 040. Check them out. Just sticking a stick up your ass. <laughs> the Vlad costume was very comfortable for the amount of stuff that I had on, and I'll tell you why. Here's the number one secret about making a costume comfortable. Make sure the hair fits. They didn't have to glue the hair to my head. That's huge! That's huge! We did have a new makeup person, new makeup and hair, Brielle. She came in, she was amazing. What was that term you just used? Manscara? Guyliner. Guyliner. She's on set for the one guy liner. Already, my life is enriched by 10%? Just by that one term. Big ups to Brielle, she did a great job, and uh, we, we loved having her. Did you communicate? Guys need makeup too. Rules around here, specifically <laughs> beverages. A lot of questions, obviously, about the props table. There was a suggestion to create a separate table next to the area where we have the issues and put just drinks table, and hopefully people will just do that. We actually ran short of extra tables. And you know what? I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be cool, man. They wanna make their workspaces a dangerous haven for accidents? <laughs> yeah, let it be. Hey, drinks everywhere, dude. I don't even care, man. All right. Dracula didn't get to shave today, so might be a bit stubbly. <laughs> I think that's okay. Getting into makeup and costume for this one took a long time. The wig is this really nice wig made out of real hair. What's up, man? What's up, man? How What's going on, bro? <laughs> what, uh, Dracula Presley? So they had to glue it on What's Nice Peters, but... Is that the best wig we've ever had? Not Lloyd's? This is the most expensive wig we've ever had. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> obviously. Once it was in it, it was okay, but it took about four and a half hours to get made up. And that's a long time to like sit in a chair and be uncomfortable, but that's that's part of the game, baby. So part of the game. These teeth, we have these fangs that glue onto your, uh, what are these called, your canine teeth? They look great, but they would pop out every once in a while and just, that would freak me out. Oh, it's so wrong. Ah! Oh. I got it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that made it so I couldn't eat all day. So once the teeth went in, 
It was Robex juice smoothies only. Uh, I had a smoothie in the middle there, but that just did not crack the mustard. A blood, it was it a blood smoothie? Are you making jokes? Yeah. Well, you should have done that when you wrote your raps. Oh! oh. 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 I got cranky. Boom. I am known as being a cranky person when I'm performing on camera. I think it made sense because Dracula's not exactly a chipper guy. So, everything you've been told is a lie! Ah! <laughs> I was like scared of my portrayal of Dracula. At first, I felt like I didn't do a very good job when I heard it. And when I first started looking at the footage, I was like, ah, I didn't do very well. I didn't know how far to go with the blah, blah, blah thing. I didn't know how far to push that because I, I kind of based my character off of Christopher Lee's Dracula, who doesn't really talk like this. <laughs> But then I saw some other takes and I was like, oh, that's pretty fun. I like it. So I, I went through a whole journey on this Dracula where I felt a little self-conscious about my performance. But then in the end, I, I think I feel That's okay. interesting. That's hey, pretty interesting. Just two old pals. Hey, yeah. uh, good to see you. Hey. When's the last time we hung out? Oh, it's been ages. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so uh, great. It's great. I mean, he's my buddy. I'm kind of named him. Of course, right by Halloween, too. Yeah, you know they had to have for it. For so long, you oh. don't even know. What happens is I'll, um, I'll kill the body, right. drink the blood, and then I'll give it to him. He does all kinds of weird shit with it. He's, <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> too good. I rock the house once I'm invited him to it. So yesterday, Pete was like, there's a new character at Renfield, and uh, you're going to play him if you want. And then I was like, I have no idea who that is. Why was Morgan in this battle? Come on, man! That's a very good question. Why was Morgan in this battle? Now, Morgan actually has a great history of being in the grab battles. He was uh, actually a stormtrooper. So suck on these! These what, sir? These He's rolled behind yeah. nuts! I think he also had to look for this roll. Don't take that the wrong way, Morgan. You're I'm gonna attractive. enjoy watching you die, yes, so yeah. let me do it with my own eye. Is that wild enough? Renfield is my smaller doctor, not so. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Nice. This is Andy. How do we have things lit? So right now we're doing uh, Dracula versus some Russian dude. I saw this reference of Dracula. Oh look at the, the, the lighting like rigs. Two lights hitting him on the sides and one in the front. So we're imitating that right now. So this is the light that's hanging in the front. This is called a sky panel. Holy crap! It's pretty cool because it's really bright and it can change. To I like this stuff because. You know, I'm into like directing and lighting and film, so behind the camera. The lighting rig is nice. Oh hell yeah. I feel like this is a normal we don't know this rap. How do you guys uh feel about the battle? I'm excited for this battle. It's gonna be spooky. Happy Halloween everybody. Spooky. Don't eat candy with the needles in it. Very nice, very nice. Cool, cool. Well, there you guys have it. That was my reaction to the behind the scenes of ERB, the most recent one with Vlad and Dracula. Check out the actual battle that's going to be right here to the side if you want to watch my real reaction to it. And I have a whole playlist of other reactions too. So hey, uh, subscribe to, hit the bell, hit the sub. New reactions every single day. So take care. I'll see you in the next video and be easy.